When we are looking into the online shop, we're always looking for the next big title to play. But at some points, we run out of big titles, and the ones we have, we just don't want to play. Today, I give you the under $1 face-off. I go through the shop, choose two games, and then under the same genre, and have similar price points and gameplay. We go over the pros and cons of each game, and choose which one wins. Of course, whoever wins can always earn the spot on your console or PC, but it's entirely up to you. These games are actually going to be probably worth their price. I'm Paperbot, and today we have yet another Zombie Defense HD versus Gravekeeper. Now, I have bought these games for less than a dollar on the shop, and just to keep it fair, they are part of the same genre, and they play from the top-down perspective. Now, we do have our contenders, but let's go over the pros and cons of each game, and kind of see which one deserves more attention. Now, yet another Zombie Defense HD. I actually bought the game for only one penny on the Nintendo eShop, and it's really funny because I feel like it is worth the price of what I bought it for. But of course, it's really simple and straightforward. It does seem like someone probably worked on it over a weekend on like a game jam, and then fixed up and added more modes and then threw it onto the shop. It's pretty good though, I do enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. It's very simple and straightforward with fighting hordes of zombies with guns. The leveling system is fairly simple and does have a stat upgrade kind of st style. Um, one big thing I think my biggest cons against it was that it's very simple and very repetitive. You probably can't really play more than 15 minutes of the game. Um, the area is very small and where you can build your base at, so the barricades kind of feel a bit small. Um, there's a limited amount of weapons you can choose from, and some weapons are kind of bad. <laughs> it's a given. Absolutely no story. Even your characters don't even have names. They're just the guy, the girl, the SWAT, the doc, and for one penny that I bought it for, I don't really regret it. <laughs> I think one of the biggest pros of yet another zombie HD is that you can play co-op. Now I don't have friends to play co-op with on my Switch, or I didn't really capture any footage of doing so, but that's an another option you have. Gravekeeper. Now, Gravekeeper was a bit of a surprise for me for the 99 cents price pool because it was a fairly decent game. It did have some cutscenes, even though they were a little bit awkward. Um, but at the same time, I feel like the person who made it was probably just one. Um, the gameplay was uh, had a really nice loop. It had weapon drops, tier systems. You could pick up different type of weapons. You get different buffs with each weapon you had. So it's not really that bad of a game. Um, the 99 cents price point really does show. just because of the weird power spikes I had. Like at certain points when I went to like stage 1 through 11 with no issue at all, and then for some reason at stage 12 I started getting like two shot and projectiles became a lot more troublesome than I thought they were going to be, and they didn't really give me too much options on how to deal with those. Gravekeeper does have some depth to it, which is really cool, and for the game itself being 99 cents, I feel like it kind of outshines the depth of how the game is compared to yet another zombie survival HD. That's a very big word to say. Um, but I do really enjoy the game loop. It's very Diablo-like, simple Diablo-like, but at the same time, like, I wish they kind of added a little bit more skills. Honestly, I was using more of like the dash, the dash itself that uses like it's an attack and we use it more as a dash to get out of sticky situations in some fights, but something like that does kind of like breathe a little bit more life into it. I know there's probably some other games that are a lot better than this one, but this is for 99 cents guys, so you're not asking for much. <laughs> now my final say on both of these games is you get what you pay for. The one cent you get the yet another zombie HD and then the 99 cent you get Gravekeeper. And Gravekeeper kind of did surprise me in how in-depth it was with how much it attempted to do, and of course it did hit some spots spot on. Is this certain parts of the game needed to be more polished? Probably like the power spikes randomly coming up anywhere, being one shot by bosses every now and then, but it had less issues than I would say probably like a $5 game, but once again, you get what you pay for. Um, one big thing is, I would like to say, out of both of them, 
if they were facing off against each other, I would say Gravekeeper had a lot more edge. Just because it had a bit more depth, you kind of wanted to keep going. But I would say yet another zombie survival is a bit easier to pick up. And if you do have friends you can play, but I don't know how many hours you put into that game. Just because it doesn't really... It does have some cool little knickknacks of like missions, but I feel like Gravekeeper had a better shot with that. Actually giving you rewards for those type of achievements, so... I would say I give it to Gravekeeper on this one. 